Welcome to NWA USA. We are starting things off with a handicap match. Max the Impaler taking on the team of Natalia Markova and Taryn Terrell, and who has uh, made her own, uh, I, I don't want to say ratchet version of the Queen Bee Crown. You could say ratchet. I just did, because I don't know. It's, it's a fun word to say. Yeah, it's got a drawing of a bee. And look, oh, there you see Gags has the broken pieces. This will be interesting oh. to see how the Natalia Queen Markova and Taryn Terrell work together as they don't, they, they haven't been on the same page as of lately, as we can and, see right and, now. And neither of them wants to start off this match with Max, such an imposing force. Okay, so that's how you do it. Max has no fear. Max will take on any group of people. Anytime, anywhere, any place. But yes. Natalia Markova has so much power into the oh, cutter. Wow. But Max remains on Max's feet. Boot to the head of Max. Still oh, on their feet. There's Gags again. What's he even doing out here? He doesn't have his manager's license. Must have picked it from the pocket of the sinister minister as Max. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pure, brutal power. When you took a, take a look at the miserably faithful, you've got Judas as a real powerhouse. Max matches that. Oh, absolutely. Max is the powerhouse. Taryn Terrell just crawling. I, trying to avoid want, Max at all costs. Yeah, Taryn seems. wants nothing to do with Max. Natalia Markova, it almost appears Markova's got to go it alone. And Markova is a tough competitor. Usually we see her in the ring, she's dominating her opponents, but right now we're seeing Markova getting dominated, which is, we don't see that very often, no, Joe. No, Markova, I mean. Oh, hard body slam. Markova might be one of the strongest strikers in our women's division. And to see Max, again, just dominant. Markova trying to get some offense. Not even phasing Ma Max. Max not even coming. For that oh. sunset flip. Trying to get Max off their feet. Oh, oh my God. Markova. Markova kicks. Look at Taryn looking on in concern. Taryn could have made the save. Taryn could have dove in. Taryn does not want to piss off Max. <laughs> So, oop, cheap shot from behind by Taryn, but hey, you gotta take it in a match like this with Max, where you can. But Max, so strong, so powerful, knowing exactly where they are in this in this match. Oh, Taryn is out, I think. Oh, oh wow. my. Running into a brick wall. Running into a brick wall. Both Markova and Taryn Terrell, I think Taryn Terrell is knocked out on the bottom <laughs> rope. Taryn not even moving. Oh, she goes coming to a little bit. For Markova. Oof. Cross face. Flattening Markova. Oh, she's got her okay. by the face. Markova able to get the jawbreaker. But Max, they can't take Max. Smart by Markova trying to take Max off their feet. Here comes the kicks. Oh, got caught. Got caught by Max. Look at Taryn. Taryn. <laughs> Taryn's Taryn, disappearing. Taryn's like turned into the manager that we normally see here. Taryn, you're in this match. You got to get in the ring. Big boot, big boot by Markova. Markova's got an opening. Markova, another kick. A kick to the face of Max. Taryn slowly getting back in the ring. Looking for the GDT! Oh, nice. Max is down! Max is down! Markova can do it! Kick out! So close. I mean, Taryn Terrell... Oh, look at oh, she's going up top. Markova calling the shot. She's finally coming back into this match. Taryn looked like for a big move. Markova's. You gotta go, Taryn. Oh, no, no, no. Wait you gotta go. Wait a go. Oh, wow. oh my gosh! Just Flatting. about decapitated Flatting. Markova. Taryn completely hesitated and just left Natalia Markova high and oh, dry. Oh no! Gags the gift. Open it. The tongue. The tongue is out. Uh, Max is licking the face oh, of Markova. Is, what is going on? I think Gags the gift tried to lick the other side of Markova's face. 
I think Max can taste victory. I think that's what that's all about. Marcola oh set on gosh. top rope, down to the concrete floor. Terrence alone, Terrence alone with Max. Now for, oh, wait a minute. Terrence, Terrence that's really not begging, a good spot. Begging Markova, right begging Markova to get back in. Terrence, Terrence got caught, Terrence got caught. Able to kick, get some separation. Terrence trying to hold oh, on hold to on. bottom rope. Can't, can't grab Markova. Able to kick Max off. Terrence Terrell showing that power, that strength that Terrence Terrell has with those legs. Oh, but the, oh no, she's the size, the power, the brute strike. She's oh, getting, gas, she's getting gas crushed. Gas the time. And now the time in the air. The time oh, in the air. Oh, God. God. This is so oh, weird. That's so gross. This is so weird. That demonic tongue. That sick, sadistic, sinister tongue of gags. <laughs> Max, will we see it? Welcome <laughs> to the wasteland. So gags with the assist with the tongue the enables Max to hit the, uh, that the winner of this match, Max Van Piller. It's like that tongue's got some real power behind it. I hate to say it, but this man. matchup brought me to my feet. Max the Impaler, big victory, big victory for Max, big victory for the miserably faithful, and then Gags really. <laughs> I gotta check to make sure Gags has a manager's license. But Max, so dominant. Oh, look at Max. Looking for the. That's what I call. Crown. Yeah, that. Oh, well, it was. Uh, yeah. It was. Look at the tongue of. Uh, Congratulations, Max the Impaler. What a way to start off. NWA USA. It's Joe Galley, and it's time. It's time. It's velvet time, baby. Joe, that was really weird. We are <laughs> no to kidding. We are to believe that Gags the Gibbs' tongue was used in the assist of Max getting the pin on Taryn Terrell. Yeah. How weird is that? Who would have thought a tongue weird. had that much Super power? Super weird. But welcome to our very <laughs> special tribute to the Fixers. Talk about a crazy episode. We also have a strange Bedfellows six-man tag team match. Kenzie Page is going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mrs. Kate, so we're going to get a little bit of a preview of what we're going to see at Hard Times 3 with Pretty and Power taking on Miss Kate and Maddie. And in our main event, Jay Bradley is taking on Morton. Talking about a feud that's just been going on and on. It's the Fixers and the Mortons and the Fixers and the Mortons. So much action and excitement here in the NWA. And you're going to see wrestling as it's meant to be. of Camp Carino, that dude, Jamie Stanley. Jamie coming up, it's gonna be hard times. New Orleans, Davey Richards against Colby Carino. This is big news. Yeah, Kyle, it is big news, duh. Hey, why don't you ask me who put that match together? That dude, Jamie Stanley, because not only am I absolutely aesthetic perfection, but I've got the brain of a freaking scientist, okay? And I'm a big time player, and big time players make big time moves. So, Davey Richards, as far as I'm concerned, you have zero chance against Colby Carino. And after we make quick work of you, we're going to continue our total domination of the NWA. And there's nothing you can do about it because Colby Carino is the man. Jamie Stanley is that dude. And together, we can't lose, baby. Deal with it. Thank you for your time. Hey, 
Hey, what's the gig? Danny Deals, Daniel W. Deals, Triple D, Deal Machine, whatever you want to say. Back again with Candy. How you doing, Candy? You doing pretty good? Pretty good? Okay, I made some special things for NWA 74. I know everybody came and everybody watched, of course, but I made just a little bit too much, so I have a little bit left. While supplies last, look, this is what Deal Machine's going to do. Look at this. Oh, isn't that a wonderful cup? Souvenir cup, right? How about two cups in this? How about, how about we do a nice 11 by 17 poster? Look at that. Everybody's on it. They, well, except for deals, but that's okay. That's okay. We got we to gotta put other people over sometimes. Not me. Look at this sweet NWA 74 shirt. Sure. What do you think? Because all deals got to be candy approved. Can't just do it. So, got two cups, right? One, two. Got the souvenir poster, right? How about that? And I got the shirt. You know what else? You know what else? Deal machine's going to go crazy. How about this? How about this bag? I'm going to throw this bag in too. Now, what do you think? 50 bucks, 40 bucks. Candy gets what candy wants. How about 30 bucks? I'm into it, 30 bucks, that's it. That's the NWA 74 deal, the deal bundle from Deal Machine Candy Approved, 30 bucks. Please welcome Carrie Martin. Carrie, you and your dad seem to have a never ending feud with the fixers. And in tonight's main event, your dad will be facing Jay Bradley. What are your thoughts? You know, uh, as the old saying goes, you line them up and we'll knock them down. And that's the same that goes for Ricky tonight. You know, I, I've watched him overcome obstacle over obstacle over obstacle in life and in the wrestling ring. Mm -hmm. And just to think for one minute that Ricky has beaten Ligurski. So now Ricky's going to beaten Jay. And now that I've beaten Jay, now Ricky is facing Jay once more. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the circle of life. This feud never ends. And I understand what these guys are fixated on, the Mortons. But, you know, my, my mindset has kind of changed here recently. And, and I keep on thinking, and it keeps on going through my head, that hard times three is coming up. And I'm going against Homicide one more time for the NWA World Junior Heavyweight Championship. Mm -hmm. And May last time I was in the ring with him, he did his dirty ways. Homicide showed his true colors. Mm -hmm. And just to think for one moment... Kerry Morton can come back again. I have the opportunity to wrestle Homicide one more time and become your new champion. I like that fire, Kerry. And talking about Colby Carino now, you've been in the ring with Colby Carino many times. So could you break down for us Colby Carino versus Davey Richards? Davey Richards has held titles in numerous companies, especially here recently in MOW. Mm -hmm. And just to think that Kobe Carino is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound wrestlers that I've had the opportunity to step in the ring with. So seeing Davey Richards, a guy that I grew up with, and seeing Kobe Carino, that a guy I admire, to an extent, clash? Oh, man. I don't think this is necessarily going to be the match of the night. I think this may be a match of the, the year for the National Wrestling Alliance, and I'm hoping they do, because you know what? Competition is good, and competition is what we need here in the National Wrestling Alliance. So I wish those gentlemen all the luck. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Kerry. Welcome back to the action inside the NWA Arena. A strange bedfellows six-man tag team match. The now teaming with, but look at the now teaming with Magic Jake. But what else? CJ has the American flag that was being held by our one half of our United States Tag Team Champions, Wrecking Ball Ligurski, and on this very special episode dedicated to the Fixers. Ligurski been put in a, a real awkward situation here that we see with these strange bedfellows matches. Ligurski and awkward in the same sentence yeah. makes sense, Joe. Because we know the ill begotten, they want a shot at those United States Tag Team Championships. And the bell has rung, and here comes Magic Jake starting things off with one half of the United States Tag Team Champions. Oh, oh we're gonna see some magic. All right, here we go. I like magic. Why not? Sure. This is impressive sometimes. Oh, but look at Danny Deals is outside. And Wrecking Ball is just up. Wrecking Ball's pretty easy to impress. He, he really is. He's so intrigued. He said I got his thumb. <laughs> well, he still had the rest of his still fist. Punch him without still the thumb. had the rest of his fist to punch you in the face. He got his thumb back. Even without the thumb. He can make a tag. Tag is made to Jeremiah Plunkett. Make delicious, now the legal man for his team. Tag is made. Wrecking Ball has been very public about him thinking that Magic Jake is some form of witchcraft. Yeah. <laughs> That's really not hard to believe. <laughs> Into the cover. 
It's like a dark well, magic it's a good spell. Thing, it's a good thing it's 2022. Otherwise, magic <laughs> cake might get burned at the stake. Oh, jeez. True. Punch to the gut from Jeremiah Plunkett after the tag was made. And you can see CJ always smiling and clapping. She just loves everything she sees. It doesn't matter what's going on in the ring. Yeah, she's, she's always she's smiling and Having a great time. Picking the ankle. Tag is made. In comes Alex Taylor. It'll be gotten with some double team action and Vic Delicious. Oof. Covered by Alex Taylor. Shoulders down, kick out by Delicious. More tags, and then you see they're really trying not to let Wrecking Ball Ogurski into this match at all. Not going at it alone. Double side rushing leg sweep to Vic Delicious by the Ilby Gun. Plunkett makes the pin. Shoulders are down, kick out. Plunkett side headlock isolating. I like delicious. these quick tags. This is great strategy by the Ilby Gotten. They've been a tag team for quite a while. They know how to get it done. Oh, low bridge, low bridge from Hale Collins. Sending Alex Taylor to the outside and now into the post. Face first into the post. They're trying to isolate Alex Taylor, take him out of this match completely. Vic Delicious got enough time to recover as well. Alex Taylor, shoulders are, oh, it was foot on the bottom rope. He Didn't also he? had to kick out. That was a smart move based on the positioning of the referee. Ooh, neck breaker. And now Vic Delicious hurrying into the cover, grabs that inside leg kick out. Delicious makes the tag to Hill Collins. Double axe handle to the back. Double, double axe handle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, triple axe handle? Could have been. Something like that, true. Scoop and a slam. Now Collins jumping through the air, drops the elbow across the chest. Covered by Collins. Kick out. Wrecking Ball Ligurski trying to get this crowd. Give some encouragement to Alex Taylor. Making his way to his feet, trying to break the hold. And unable to, a fistful of hair. And Alex Taylor just gets crashed into the canvas. You can see Jeremiah Plunkett, he is just itching oh, yeah. he to get that it. tag to get in that ring. Absolutely, So does yes. Wrecking Ball Ligurski. I mean, this is really his show. It's a tribute to the fixers. Ball wants to get the win. Kicking combination. Dazing, oh, into the leg drop. Dazing Alex Taylor. Cover. Shoulders down, hook in the leg, kick out. Tag to Vic Delicious. And let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, oh, big Magic time, Jake makes the tag too. Big time main event, Jay Bradley versus Ricky Morton in our main event. One of the longest running feuds we've had here in the NWA during the Lightning One era. Kick out. By Alex Taylor, it's all coming to a head. Jay Bradley takes on Ricky Morton in the main event. Magic Jake sends Alex Taylor face first into the turnbuckle. Trapping the arm, looking for the Russian leg sweep. No, spinning him out into a neck breaker. Cover. Cocky, cocky cover. Ooh, Jeremiah That's not gonna do it against Alex Taylor. Alex Taylor's a true athlete, ladies and gentlemen. He's tough too. And I just saw how he was able to bounce back and recover after that devastating fall at NWA 74. That's all I can he can think only, of. He could only recover so quickly because he's an elite level athlete. Oh, and a knee shuts him down. Damn. I don't care how elite level you are. A knee to the face is gonna stop you in your tracks. Got caught, got caught by Magic Jake. Oh, oh no, oh, no. we've seen this oh, before. No, 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 Looking no, for the tombstone. No. Looking for the tombstone. Oh, wait. Alex Taylor oh, transitions into, into the pin, into the pin kick out. Alex Taylor needs to make the tag. Instead going right after. Magic Jake, backstabber, oh, got him. backstabber. That took everything Alex Taylor had left. You see Danny Beals on the outside, pounding away on the canvas. Oh, Ligurski and Plunkett, they are, either one of them itching to get in there. Alex Taylor really needs to, Make the tag to one of his opponents. So close, so close. Tag is made, in comes Vic Delicious. Here in comes time. Plunkett. Plunkett. And Ricky Ball had almost no time in this match. 
whatsoever. Plunk it with those jabs to Vic Delicious, wind it up. Ducks the clothesline. Step up Enziguri, plunk it. Crashing and burning into the canvas. Cover. Looking like deep cover, deep cover. Two count. Tag is made, in comes Hale Collins. Double team by Vanilla and Plunkett. Big, big move. Trying to shut down the ill-begotten and one half of the United States Tag Team Champions kick out by Plunkett. Scoop and a slam. Jumping through the air, oh! Coming down hard on that elbow, Plunkett able Plunkett's to roll so out of the way. Close. Trying to He's make, make a tag. Ball. Yeah, Alex Tag Harris is no made position. a wrecking ball. Wrecking ball, the freshest man in this match and the biggest man in the match. 400 pounds and one half of the United States Tag Team oh. Champions. Nurse oh, but the Delicious boot. gets the boot up. And then now, oh, oh it's a oh. Completely leveled his own partner. Wrecking ball cleaning house right now. Living up to that name for sure. Fly through. Oh, but he caught. Cut. Power slam. slam. He's the legal man. Delicious is the legal man. Got him. The winners of this match, the team of Wrecking Ball Lagerski and the LB Gotten. Oh, what a matchup, huh? Yeah, I mean, they waited till the right time. Wrecking Ball Ligurski spending so much time on that apron was so fresh right towards the end. Gets a big victory for the Obi Gotten and for Wrecking Ball on his own show. All right, it looks like May Valentine, she is standing by with Flip Gordon. Go ahead, May. Please welcome Flip Gordon. Flip, you have a match against Colby Carino on next week's episode of Power. What are your thoughts? You know, my thoughts are, I need to win this. This is a first time ever matchup. And Colby Carino, he's a second generation wrestler. This is in his blood. And he's a top tier athlete. So a big victory here would definitely give me the momentum I need to prove that I'm the most unreal wrestler in the world. This match is going to be a must see. And it's a match that I am very, very excited about. I'm really excited to see it too. Thank you so much for your time, Thank Flip. You. For over 70 years, one name has stood for history, legacy, and tradition in professional wrestling. And the centerpiece of that legacy is the original lineal heavyweight championship of the world. The one that started them all, known to many as the 10 pounds of gold. Now, by popular demand, you can own your very own symbol of excellence, as the NWA has teamed up with Fandu Belts to bring you the official replica of the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. This meticulously handcrafted belt is available in two options, the original pre-2021 glory, as well as the revised 2021 version with the UK plate updated by yours truly. Own the granddaddy of them all, the 10 pounds of gold. To order, visit fandubelts.com slash NWA. All right, you sexy beast, Jamie X, on this next episode of Stanley's Drill. Apparently, I was convinced into booking this person who's apparently a self-made internet sensation and she's gone viral. The milk, milkmaid, milkmaid girl. Watch it, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are with our next guest, the milkmaid gir girl. They're... Well, milkmaid girl, what brings you to Stanley's Drill? <laughs> milkmaid girl, um, what is your favorite part about Jamie Stanley? And, and, and spare no detail. Yeah. Okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Um, let's see. What What are your goals? What What is the one thing that you want to do here at NWA that you want to accomplish that you want to just cross off your list? Besides being on Stanley's Drill, because that's obvious. Yeah. Milkmaid girl, how do you feel being next to aesthetic perfection? Oh. oh you, are, are you sad? Is that milkmaid girl? Can you do anything besides going yeah and hmm? No. 
Milkmaid Girl, who brought you here? Da? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Se seriously, who, who, brought her, who brought her here? Anything else you want to say uh, before this train wreck is done? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the action inside the NWA Arena. We're getting a sort of a small preview of what we're going to see at Hard Times 3 in New Orleans. The bell is rung. Kenzie Page, one half of our women's tag team champions, taking on Missa Kate, who along with Maddie will be challenging Pretty Empowered for those belts in the Big Easy. Lock up. Look the aggression the just from the lock up between these two. Woo. You know, Missa Kate has really stepped up in the past few months here in the National Wrestling Alliance. I mean, just the level of aggression oh, yeah. that we're seeing from Missa Kate. Yeah. Incredible physical condition and also a little bit of fun, too. The mind games with a noogie on Kenzie Page. But when you talk about attitude change, just talk about what we've seen with Kenzie Page ever since becoming our world tag team champions. Well, she's got that confidence boost that she, you know, that she definitely needed because when she first came here, she's always been a phenomenal athlete, Kenzie Page, but she seemed a lot, a little timid. Do you agree? I, I, I agree. And now feeling all kind. And look, speaking of confident and happy, coming out and having a good time with the crowd. High five to Kyle Davis. It looked like it hurt Kyle's hand. Oh, and a oh, chop to the God. chest on the outside. Two, oh my gosh. Kenzie Page answering back with a chop of her own. Turn into a chop fest on the outside here. Kenzie Page wants to get a big victory here. Keep that momentum going to hard times three, hard times in New Orleans. Tickets available at nwatix.com November 12th and November 13th for Revolution Rumble and NWA Power Trip. Big backbreaker. Oh, nice, Kenzie Page. Pulling the hair nice. into the backbreaker. I don't think I've seen that before. I don't think I have either. Innovative offense from Kenzie Page. So always so inventive. You never know how she's going to attack. Pulling at the hair. Choking Misa Kate on the second rope. Stomping away at the back. Missa Kate. Trying to fight yeah. back, getting shut down immediately by, immediately by Kenzie Page. The tide has shifted in this match. Snap for one half Kate. of Pretty Empowered. Oh, just such disrespect. The side of the face of Misa Kate. Oh, relentless. Stomping away at the side of the face. Kenzie Page, full head of steam. Oh, what a oh drop my kick. Gosh. It could be over right here. Beautiful drop kick to the face. Kick out. Kick out by Missa. And once again, folks, in our main event, the living legend, Ricky Morton, going toe to toe with Jay Bradley. He'd been a thorn in his side for months now. Really excited to see that main event coming up right here on NWA USA. Both women take each other down with a double clothesline. Kate, she has an opportunity here. She's got to recover. Almost feels like we're back to square one at this point. Both women fighting from underneath now. Oh, vicious open hand slap. Oh, they are just throwing live rounds. Woo. Oh, wow. This is the intensity I love to see oh from our NWA gosh. women's division. The toughest women's division in the sport no doubt. for professional wrestling. No doubt, Joe. Shoot, reverse, up and over by Misa Kate. Into the full Nelson. Spencer, oh, face first! Face first in the turnbuckle! Stacks up the champ! Stacks up the champ! Kick out! So close. What a hard hitting matchup between both women. My gosh. I said earlier in the match, Kenzie Page wants that momentum going into hard times three, but Missa Kate, if she gets a victory here, that could really rock the psyche of Pretty Empowered. Oh, sure. 
Fisherman. Counter. Looking for the Kenzie Cutter. Instead, gets a snap mare. Kick to the gut. Missa Kate. Again with the Fisherman. Spinning out. Beautiful Fisherman suplex with the release. Covered by Missa Kate. Kick out by the champ. These women are leaving it all out there. They on this sure game. are. They are so impressive. I cannot say enough good things about the NWA women's division here. Roundhouse kick, ducked. Kenzie grabbing the hair with the cravat. Deep cravat. Oh, look at this, just savagely. Savagely beating her. Look at that, the top. Oh, immediate, top with a cravat. Immediate tap. Oh, oh. match. Kenzie Page. I don't think we've ever seen that out of Kenzie Page. A beautiful transition into the cravat, into a submission, putting her leg over the back of Missa Kate with incredible leverage. I love the aggression by Kenzie Page. As we mentioned before, you never know how she's gonna attack you, where she's gonna go. And now Pretty Empowered have a lot of momentum going in to hard times three. Let's toss things over to Mae Valentine, standing by with a very important interview. Go ahead, Mae. Please welcome US Tag Team Champion, Jay Bradley. Jay, You've extended the hand of friendship to the Mortons, but you were rebuked. How do you feel about that? Well, I think rebuked means like denied. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. You know, May, I'm trying to be a champion. You know, I'm trying to, to set that table and that bar real high and be that guy that takes. We're used to go into a different road that's a little bit dark. This road's what they call the high road. So you try to do what's right. So you set the example for the kids. So they wear your shoes and they buy your cereal. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why Ricky and Carrie won't shake my hand. Okay. And the Spectaculars are going to be your opponents at Hard Times 3 in New Orleans on November 12th. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> Call the dirt sheets, May, because I got your finish to that one right here. Bow tie, one pull, snap, right in the face. Fixers rule! Still U.S. Tag Team Champions. Thank you so much, Jay. Wrestling fans, Saturday, November 12th, NWA Hard Times in New Orleans comes to you live on pay-per-view. See NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Trevor Murdoch defend the 10 pounds of gold against Matt Cardona and New Orleans' own Tyrus. NWA World Women's Champion Camille puts her title on the line against Kylan King and Chelsea Green. EC3 faces Tom Latimer. Nick Aldis battles Odinson. Junior Heavyweight Champion Homicide goes one-on-one -on -one with Kerry Morton. Also scheduled to appear, NWA World Tag Team Champions La Rebellion. Max the Impaler, Luke and PJ Hawks, the Hawks RE, and many more stars of the NWA. Hard Times 3, live on pay-per-view, Sunday, November 12th. Tickets and information available at nwatix.com. Order on Fight Today and watch it from anywhere on your streaming devices. The NWA, wrestling as it's meant to be. If it, uh, Tyrus? I, kick rocks, fellas, I got something to say. Okay, let's kick. Uh, I'm Rolando, and I've defeated a two-time NWA World Heavyweight Champion. So Tyrus, if you talk to us like that, I'm gonna whoop your big ass. I said, I'm gonna whoop Yo! Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What he said? What did he say? Remember that funny joke he told us that one time? Yeah, remember that. NWA Wrestling fans, Kyle Davis here in the Control Center, and we are just two weeks away from Hard Times in New Orleans. Now, Hard Times 3 is coming at you from Chalmay, Louisiana on November 12th. If you've already gotten your tickets, congratulations, you get to be a part of history as it happens. 
If you don't already and you're on the fence still, I don't know what you're waiting for. NWATix.com, they are going fast. And if life got in the way and you want to be there, but you just can't make it, you can still be part of the action. Fight.tv, order it today. You can watch it from the comfort of your own home on any of your streaming devices. And this week, NWA Power is packed and it will have ramifications for Hard Times 3. The NWA World Tag Team Champions, La Rebellion. Who will their opponents be? Well, we're going to find out. It's number one contenders tag team action as Luke and PJ Hawks, the Hawks RE, will face the dirty, sexy boys team of JTG and Dirty Dango. Whichever team wins will face La Rebellion at the pay-per-view. Speaking of the pay-per-view, AJ Kazana and Jordan Clearwater will battle once again. This time there will be a winner to determine who the TV champion will be moving forward. But who will the number one contender be? Well, we're going to find out on Power this week as well in triple threat action. It'll be Judas versus Mims versus Gustavo with one man leaving with a title opportunity in the future. Folks, I said this episode was packed. I can't tell you all of it, but I will give you one more match. It is Team War making its return. The Cardonas, BSK, Mike Knox, Brian Myers going in spectaculars, Brady Pierce, Rush Freeman, and Rolando Freeman. And I don't think it needs to be said, but I'm just going to put it out here anyway. Rolando has been on a tear against the Cardonas. Matt Cardona, world title situation. He's in the main event at hard times. If he becomes champion, if Rolando keeps his winning ways in this team war, we could see Rolando versus Matt Cardona 3. Folks, you're going to have to tune in to find out. For the Control Center, this has been Kyle Davis. Let's go back to NWA USA. NWA fans, join me in welcoming Wrecking Ball Ligurski, one half of the United States Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, and NWA President, USA indeed, NWA President and my boss, William Patrick Corrigan, and I've got to ask, what's in the bag? First of all, let me thank these great fans here in the NWA arena. Nashville takes good care of us, and we really do appreciate it. You know, first of all, Wrecking Ball, congratulations, historic win. 12-team tag battle royale, NWA 74 at the chase. You made history. Congratulations. You know, one of the coolest things about my job is I'm the, I'm the custodian of NWA history. It's amazing if you do the deep dive on NWA history. And uh, when, I, when I brought that belt back and it had been gone for a while, I thought, that, that design's pretty cool. But, you know, and I haven't told anybody about this, this the first time. I have this idea where we don't necessarily bring a, back, a belt back for a really long time. So that's supposed to be kind of a temporary belt. I actually have the permanent belt right here. And for the first time, I want to reveal yeah! the new, the new U.S. tag belts right here. Uh, only a few people have seen this belt in private, and they've been putting it over strong. So I wanted to take this opportunity yeah. to present it to you and, uh, of course, all our great NWA fans. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Wrecking Ball, are you ready? I'm ready! Let's see the belt. If I can get out of this bag. Ooh. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Look at the jewels. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Let me, let me give you a little background. I'm not a tag champion. But uh, this is based on the Sheik belt out of Detroit back in the day. The Sheik, the great star of the NWA. And I saw this design in all my deep dives, and I thought that would be cool to bring back to the NWA. Right? What do you guys think? Gorgeous. Just simply gorgeous. Love it. I love so it. Wrecking Ball, part of the ceremonial aspect of this is I've got to switch this belt out. We're going to do it in public so everyone understands. You're still U.S. Tag Champion. It's nothing weird. I just need you to take that belt, give it to me, and I'm going to give you this belt. Upgrade time, baby. No, nope, I don't want it. What? Wait, what? Wait well, he doesn't. What? But why? Tell me why. Tell me why. This has the old red, white, and blue on it. And it says fixers. The tape he put on it. Look. I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you understand here. You're still U.S. Tag Champion, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna give you this belt. This is the new belt, the Lightning One U.S. Tag Belt. I'm gonna give it to you, and you're gonna give me that belt. Do you understand? It sounds like you're challenging me to a match, Billy. 
But no. Wait a minute. What is wrecking what? ball? Why does he just want the new belt? It's so much better looking. Because it says fixers on his belt and it's red. It's on white tape. Just move the tape over. <laughs> Jay Bradley is the boss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm the big boss. Okay. I'm the one who signs the checks that allows you to buy donuts and cereal. Do you like cereal? Cereal! Cereal! That's a yes, that's a yes. Okay, simple. If you want me to keep signing the checks that allows you to eat food for that 400 pound frame of yours, spelt as it is, I'm gonna give you this belt and you're gonna give me that belt. I'm not challenging you to a fight. I don't challenge 400 pound men to fights. Okay? I wanna give you this belt, you're gonna give me that belt. Answer please. No, I don't want it. Do you not like the belt? Do you not like, it's beautiful. Look at this. Look at this belt. Shiny, this is, heavy. Wait, wait, this is NWA history. We didn't just pull this out of thin air. Do you understand? Do you understand? Do you not like the belt? Well, this belt has the old red, white, and blue, and it says, Fixers rock! I don't think you understand. Okay? You don't understand. If you want to work in this company, you're going to take this bell right now. Do you understand? Do you speak English? No. Are you serious? What the heck? Just do it! Oh my gosh! It's crazy! You know what? No, thank you. Uh, uh. Yeah! Wow, that took guts by Wrecking Ball. Yeah! Or just pure stupidity. We're just gonna go to the desk. I uh, don't want to be a part that's of That's the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in this okay, building. But and that says something! William Patrick Corgan, as he said, signs the checks here for talent like Wrecking Bull, so he can go buy his donuts and his cereal. So yeah, If he doesn't that trade the belts, he'll starve! Stupidity, He has but, 16 meals a day! It took guts. I mean, Wrecking Ball's 400 pounds, but it did take guts to stand up to the boss like that and tell him I, no. I, I, it, you don't want to piss off the boss. Either has a lot of guts or, or not much upstairs, but either way, we're going to keep things moving <laughs> along. It's main event time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Big time main event here on a show dedicated to the fixers, and I feel, I don't know, Jay Bradley, I don't know if he's gonna like the, what Wrecking Ball Wierski just did with these not exchanging the tag team belts. I agree, but at the same time, I feel like Jay Bradley might agree with Wrecking Ball. They do not. have similar tastes. They well, do have similar tastes, in, so. In their defense, I mean, the old belts do say the fixers, and yeah, they are. Yeah, it's written with Sharpie on a piece of but tape. But they're very simple men, Joe. It doesn't take much for them. You know, yeah. one would think that they would want to exchange their belts for the glitz and the glamour, which is the the new tag belts, but no. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, Ricky, and it, 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 focusing on this match now, Ricky Morton. I mean, you saw Jay Bradley was extending his hand, trying to show some form of sportsmanship, but I mean, he's just been stabbed in the back and run over by the fixers repeatedly over the past several months. He just won't trust him, and Ricky Morton is a crafty veteran. Yeah. He's not going to let you stab him in the back. Oh no way. He's too smart for that. But I don't know, this might be genuine from Jay Bradley. I'm, I don't One think thing I've I am on this episode is, is at least a little confused. I don't think I've ever heard Jay Bradley and genuine in the same sentence until you just said it. Oh, and, oh, Ricky, and Morton. Ricky Morton now, okay. Kick to the gut, shoulder tackle takes down the legend, Ricky Morton, the living legend. Yes, Jay, we know fixers rule. Ricky Morton getting to his feet. Jay Bradley. Charging in. Pumps the brakes, but oh, look at. 
Okay. Stop of the schoolboy. Smart to hold onto the ropes like that. Stop with the foot. Ricky Morton knows every trick in the book. Sometimes Shoot the simple reverse. ones. Very well, sidestep. Oh, comes in hard with the knee. One half of the tag team champions, our United States tag team champions. Ricky Morton. You gotta think at some point, Ricky Morton might want to team with his son of the Mortons versus the Fixers for those U.S. tag titles, too. That would be a... If he gets a victory here, I mean, he could definitely argue for that. Be an interesting matchup. Especially when we head over to New Orleans. In November, 12th and 13th, hard times and Revolution Rumble. Small package. Kick out. Jay Bradley kicked to the cut and just pounding away at the back. Ricky Morton. For the U, this is for the S, this is for the, <laughs> the what? <laughs> USA, okay. When did the fixer, fixers come become so patriotic? Well, ever since it became United States yeah, Tag Team I, Champions, I, I guess, I mean, but waving old glory. That. They like the old belts that have the uh, that have the uh, red, white, and blue coloring on it, but abdominal stretch applied. Jay Bradley, he's got to get his left foot behind the ankle of Ricky Morton if he really wants to lock that in. Still a devastating move when you got a guy Jay, like Jay Bradley. Stretching well over out 350 like pounds, just stretching out. Ricky Morton who's looking for the hip toss. Oh, able to maneuver him over. Ricky Morton again targeting the leg. Brilliant strategy, taking away all the power, all the strength of Jay Bradley if he could do enough damage to the left leg. But Jay Bradley wrapping those arms across the face, trying to force Ricky Morton to break the hold. We are so close. The hard times three. Every match matters, including big, high-profile main events on NWA USA. Jay Bradley sending Ricky Morton hard into the corner. Oh, gosh. Oh, now making a mockery now. Yeah, I don't, I'm not surprised in the least. Ricky Morton stomping on the left foot of Jay Bradley. Reverse into the buckle. Captain Power slam. slam by Jay Bradley on Ricky Morton as he makes the cover. Oh, oh he, he got, got him. him! The winner of this match, Jay Bradley! Big victory on his own tribute show, Jay Bradley putting down Ricky Morton. Looks like he's asking for a minute. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't I, I think uh, Ricky Morton doesn't even want it. He's like, nah. nah I don't blame like, him. I don't blame him for the months that they've had to deal with the fixers and their shenanigans yeah. and their trash talk. Ricky Morton is just fed up, and he's ready to go. Thanks for joining us, folks, here on NWA USA. We will be back on Tuesday with Power, where we'll be determining the number one contender for the NWA World Tag Team Championships. We'll see you then.